Hey, it's Dr. Thornell with New England Family Chiropractic, and I wanted to share with you a little bit of information about some technology that we use here in the office. And this particular technology is meant for people with um, severe arthritic deterioration in their neck that really limits their range of motion, their ability to move. These are the people that when they want to look to the left, their movement doesn't start with their head, but it starts with their feet, and they turn that way. Um, or to the right, same thing, but the idea is that the arthritic deterioration has really limited range of motion. And the problem with that is once the joints of the spine stop moving, that deterioration happens even faster. So arthritis creates arthritis, which obviously is a bad thing. So this is a way that we can help to prevent that from worsening. And the other thing that this technology that I'm going to talk about um, is very useful for is cervical disc problems. When there's a herniation or a disc bulge, then the disc pushes out beyond its normal boundaries and can irritate the nerves, which then causes pain that might run down the arm. Uh, you could have numbness in your, in your fingers or in your entire hand. Um, you could have weakness. There's a lot of things that can happen when those nerves get pinched or irritated. And I'll give you a, a, an idea of what we're looking at here. Um, this is a normal spine as we face this direction. The disc would be this red material that you see here. And that disc material is supposed to be like this side, where there isn't disc material that actually touches the nerve, which is this yellow part that you're looking at here. On this side, we're, having, we're dealing with a disc bulge. That disc sticks out beyond its normal boundary here, and you can see how it then pinches the nerve. So what the, the traction unit that I'm about to show you does is it opens up the space for the nerve and gives a little bit of relief. For the arthritic patient, what that does is it creates movement within the spine. We're going to be separating those vertebra, which then, if you can imagine like a sponge in a sink full of water, if I squeeze that sponge, the fluid that's inside that sponge gets pushed out. And as I let go of the sponge, it sucks new fluid into the sponge. Well, the spine works the same way. And typically when we walk and move throughout the day, there's this pumping action that happens within the joints of the spine, which then causes fluid transfer in and out of those joints. And that fluid is blood with oxygen and nutrients and things that those joints need to stay healthy. If we don't get that fluid transfer, it would be the equivalent of putting a rubber band around your pinky and leaving it there. If we don't get blood and oxygen and nutrients into those cells, they start to die. And the same is true in the joints of the spine. That arthritic deterioration happens because we're not getting that fluid transfer. So this particular tool that we're using here is a cervical traction unit. The patient would be laying on the table on their back. Their head, my little spine model here, the base of the skull, the base of their head, sits right into the unit there very comfortably. And then we use the pump to pump up the traction unit. And in my model here, you can see the model sliding up the table. In a human being, we're only talking about maybe 10 pounds of pressure that we're using. So all we're doing is eliminating the weight of the head on those vertebra. It's not a real tug. There's nothing forceful about it. Um, but in the model here, the model slides. The person, their body stays completely still. All it does is just give you that little lift, opening up the joint and then allowing the nerve a little more freedom. People who have that pain that runs down the arm or that real limited um, motion within the spine, as soon as the weight of the head is lifted off those joints, there's relief. It's immediate. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, as we let it go, it, it comes back again. But the idea is having those 10 to 15 minutes of relief allows for fluid transfer, stopping um, the deterioration process if we do it often enough and then you're doing exercises and things that keep that mobility within the spine. In addition to that, when we're taking that, um, that pressure out of those joints, we're getting rid of inflammation that sits in there and further erodes those, those joints. So um, very useful little tool. If you know people that have the pain that runs down the arm or they're very limited in, in rotation, again, the key sign is you call their name and instead of turning their head, they move with their feet to turn and look at you. Those are people that could benefit from this sort of technology. So if you know those people, have them check out our website or Facebook page and give the office a call.